Good morning guys. Out on a different mission this morning. Come down for a bit of a hunt, uh, if possible. We'll see if uh, if anything's playing ball today. Um, on this particular farm, he does get a lot of magpies, uh, pigeons as well, um, and, and some crows. But um, he really does have quite a lot of magpies here. So we're going to try and see if I can capture any on video. I've got the uh, GoPro set up on the actual rifle. Um, so the camera is actually facing me right now as you can see um, and I've got the, um, the Firefly set up um, with the scope cam so bear with me and uh, we'll get started see you in a minute okay so it doesn't seem to be a lot happening today so I've put a little squirrel reactive target out there about 128 yards Going to try and hit it. Um, I know, obviously, it seems so far away with the uh, the GoPro, but uh, trust me, it's there. Uh, but the scope the scope cam should show. Um, this is only at 5.5 mag, um, as with this particular scope, because the eye bell rotates. I can't actually spin it round uh, because obviously that affects the, the Eagle Vision cam on the back. Um, because normally at 5.5 is what I normally hunt with especially around uh, wooded areas and stuff like that so but on another video i'll still see what kind of footage i can get with the maybe i don't know maybe mag 10 or or something like that so anyway i'm rambling so let's get on with it okay over Well, as you can see, that was uh, hitting that 128 yards. That definitely would have been a kill on a squirrel. Okay, guys. So there's the uh, the target. And I'm just going to place my hand at the back of, or at the side of this target. So that's definitely smaller than a a squirrel, I would say, but um, could be a, an infant squirrel. But great little target. Say so that was 128 yards is what I kind of dialed in for. Um, brilliant little target. And I shall catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.